Hi everybody, it's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Come on in, say hello. We are happy to have you here. I am alone tonight, so it's going to be a little different. I'm on a little bit later than usual, but that's because I couldn't get my act together because uh, my partner's not here. He is uh, he is out and about doing some things, and I stayed home because I was feeling a little bit under the weather, but I thought, you know what? Coming on, doing a live, doing a craft will cheer me up. So welcome when you're here, say hello. Um, again, he's Bill's not here tonight to run the, the big monitor, so I'm gonna have to try to do it all from here. So we shall we shall see how this goes. Let me get let me get my bot up and going. So when you are here say hello in the comments and I will get to them just as soon as I can and that's it and that we're saving and that we're publishing and I'll be right with you I hate you know I don't like it when people do this it's like hey you're live pay attention to me sorry I miss Bill okay so I'm gonna turn that off I'm going to go here. I'm going to try and pull up the live and see if I can get comments close. There's the live. Yay. Hey, Cheryl, you're here. Hey, Patty is here. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, and again, I'm not sure if you heard. Bill's not here tonight. I am doing this solo so let me see if i can get my pinned comment this is something bill usually does so i'm going to get that i'm going to send it i'm going to pin it hopefully that did it yay anyway now i'm hoping i'm hoping the comments We'll go. Somebody sprinkled and Cheryl said, thanks. I'm behind. Hi, Liana. Patty sprinkled. Thank you so much, Patty. And let's see. I miss her. Okay, Cheryl's going to help me out. She's going to try to fill Bill's shoes. They are pretty big shoes. So just maybe fill up the toes. Okay, doesn't look like my comments are going to scroll, so I'm going to have to... Happy Friday, Cena. Yes, it is Friday. When you're retired, that doesn't quite mean as much, but it's still a good feeling that it's Friday. Okay, pretending to be Bill in his absence. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're all, we're all a little, we're all a little nuts here. Anyway, I'm a little scatterbrained tonight. But if you're watching, we would love it if you would give our page some hearts, if you would follow our page, and if you would sprinkle it out to your page, to crafty friends that you know or craft groups that you belong to. We would certainly appreciate this. This supports us with Facebook, and these don't cost you a dime. So thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yes, Cheryl, you, have, you could probably put both feet in Bill's big foot. I don't know if he's, he might even pop on. I don't know if he is, uh, if he'll get a chance to check his phone and check to see that I went on. But anyway, okay, tonight, I don't know if you remember uh, a couple months ago when we made the tiered tray for autumn and it was awesome. I loved it. It's, it's upstairs on display in my, in my little main room and when it first came out, I told you I was hoping that what Chalk was going to do was every season come out with new designs to change up the tiered tray, and they did. So tonight we're going to get started. It's kind, I got quite a bit to do to finish this tiered tray, but we're just going to get started with, with a couple of pieces of it. So let me show you the transfers. Okay, this is called Christmas Patterns, and it is the pattern that you can put down on the tray itself. Let me show you. Let me show you the tray. 
I don't have it assembled. This is it in the box. Okay, are you live? You can't hear me. Can anybody else, is anybody else not hearing me? I didn't put my main microphone on because I think the phone will pick it up. But is anybody else having trouble? Okay, yeah, like Cheryl said, you might try you might try going out and then coming back in again, and hopefully it'll pick up the pick up. Okay, Cheryl can hear me. Okay, anyway, here's the tear tray. It's beautiful. Here's the bottom tray. It's got these little feet. It's a white painted wood. And here's the upper tray. It's just two tiers. And then all the hardware for it is here. So you kind of assemble it yourself. But that's the tiered tray. And these are the patterns that you can chalk inside. You, you do two of them. You chalk those on the inside if you want to, to decorate the, the base of your tiered tray. Okay, so that's transfer number one. I'm gonna put that away. Here is, this is called Christmas Cutouts. Mm, okay, so this one comes with three different cutouts. There's a Christmas tree, there's a star, and there's a bell. And these go with these cutouts. These are slim cuts, and it's those exact same shapes. Let me open this up. So that's probably as far as we will get tonight, but there's more. But wait, there's more. Get those out. Put that down. Okay, so here's the one that goes on that bell. Here's the one that goes for the Christmas tree. And here's the one for the star. And then there's also some little patterns that you can use on some of the other pieces that I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay. And then our last transfer here is, this is co just called Tear Tray Christmas. So it's got lots of different designs. It's got pine and pine cones, little phrases, fa la la, merry and bright, ho ho ho, farm fresh Christmas trees, December 25th, a whole bunch of things you could use. These are great on greeting cards, but they are also great on this little kit of accessories meant to go with the tiered tray. So these are like little miniatures. So let me show you. There are there are there are six pieces, but they put together five elements. So let me pull them out of here. It kind of uh, kind of has a kitcheny theme because I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, so here you get you get this this big block and it's it's if you can see it's got grooves down the middle so it kind of looks like a book stack. So you can paint that up and you can use some of these phrases. You can say merry little christmas or joy to the world on a book stack. So you get this piece. You get this little box frame. It's got white on one side. It's not meant to be double sided, but there's no reason why you can't chalk on that side too. It comes with a little mini cutting board. This is why I say it's kind of a Christmassy theme. Hey, Denise, I'm glad you hear me. Okay, Cena can hear me. Okay, so hopefully Sue, hopefully Sue's getting it worked out and she comes back and joins us. Anyway, little mini cutting board, little mini rolling pin. Is that not the cutest thing? So all these little transfers work on this. And then here's just a little mini board and base. So you could do something on both sides of that. So this will probably be the part two. This is part one. So we will work on these at a later date, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. So let's get started. What am I missing? So cute. It is so cute. I love it. Now, here's the tiered tray. I bought another one. But I don't want to buy another one for every for every season. I want to be able to reuse this. So the one I did for autumn, I kind of uh, put antique wax on it, kind of darkened up the white so it was a little antique. And I actually uh, chalked that transfer, the little autumn uh, foliage, little autumn wreaths on this. And so it's kind of... 
I could I could redo that, but I would probably have to paint over it. And I don't want to do that. So I thought and thought and thought, put my thinking cap on, and I thought, how can I do this where I can change this out without having to repaint? So I got my watercolor paper and I used my Cricut. You don't have to use a Cricut. You can just you can just use whatever else you have available. I measured the inside here and I measured the hole. And so I can chalk on this paper, this watercolor paper, and just lay it in there. Kind of stick it in with a double stick tape and it'll be perfect. And then when Christmas is over, I can pop that out. It fits pretty well. I have to get something sharp. Ooh, come on, come on out, okay. After Christmas is over, pop it out, and I'm ready to redo it for Valentine's Day because guess what? They have Valentine's Day designs. So, oh, you had your sound turned off. No problem. It's not unusual that we have a glitch. So, anyway, I have to, if you, if you do Cricut or if you work with Design Space, I can share with you my, my cutting pattern on this. Um, otherwise, just measure the inside and cut these out. Super easy. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to chalk on these. We're just going to leave these pristine and white and available to use for every season. So I'm going to set those aside and we're going to start with, we're going to start with our patterns here. So I'm going to do a couple of things. This is, like I said, this is watercolor paper. It is this right here. You could probably do this with cardstock too, but I use watercolor paper and cut out my circles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is paper and these are sticky back transfers, you know what happens when you put a sticker on paper and you pull it up, you pull up part of the paper. We don't want to do that. Yes, it is a fabulous idea. I am all about... I'm all about reusing things and finding shortcuts. So anyway, I'm gonna put a thin layer of wax on this. Not a lot, this is my surface wax. I sell this in my online shop. It's just clear paste wax. There are other brands you could get at the hardware store, but I'll tell you, they stink. They, they smell like petroleum products or something. Not that you couldn't use them, but they stink. This this doesn't smell at all. If there's any odor, I kind of detect a, like a coconut. I don't know if that's my imagination or not, but I kind of detect a coconutty smell. So anyway, that's that's one advantage to our surface wax. You don't have that awful smell. So I'm just waxing this so my transfer won't stick as tight. And let me pull this out. So if you're interested in these supplies, if you want to take a look, I, I, I kind of went on a roll with watercolor paper. I'm going to have to, have to get some more. Have to, have to go, into the, go into the craft store and get some more. Anyway, this is the inserts. So, and they, they have a little circle so you can see where, where to line it up on the hole on the base you're welcome you're welcome to chalk on the wood if you want if you were giving it as a gift you would you would definitely want to chalk on the wood but if you want to be frugal like me so i have more money for other craft supplies you could do this okay so let's see let's start with Let's start with the big one. And again, we're gonna have to, that didn't cut all the way through. Let me try it again. So I wanna keep my backer sheet whole. I wanna keep it the whole eight and a half by 11. So instead of cutting the transfer and the backer paper apart, I am just lightly slicing through that line. So my backer paper stays whole. Okay, and did I still not get it? There we go. Okay, so here is the big one. I'm gonna end up using it twice. 
So I'm going to fuzz it. I'm going to put a little bit of lint on this. Let's see. Am I missing any comments? Did we just slow down? We had quite a few on. We dropped a few. Hopefully. Looks like I'm frozen. What is my name is Robin and this is Raincross Farms Makery. I usually have my husband Bill here helping me, but he is gone tonight. So I'm on my own. So I'll make sure I don't have any dog hair on that. And I'm going to I'm gonna lay this down and I'm lining up that hole so I know. lining up that hole with the hole in my paper because remember I'm using paper so that I can just lay it down and I can pop out that paper and and replace it and do the next season I'm sorry I'm drinking some tea kind of settle my stomach a little bit okay I I put in the supply did I did I finish that sentence I don't I don't think I did I'm crazy. Anyway, if you're interested in the supplies, taking a look at, at what I'm using, prices or whatever. Yeah, you know, Cheryl, I say it at the very beginning, and but if you if you pop on after the very beginning, you don't ever hear me say it, so I should probably wear a name tag. Anyway, Robin, like the bird. Um, anyway, if you comment supplies in the comments, you will get a link to your messenger and there will be some choices. You can pick product information, you can pick uh, information about joining my free VIP group. You can sign up for live notifications so you get a notice right before I go live. And that is all great. Um, so type supplies or supply in the comments and you'll get that link. You can take a look at the products. Anyway, I put in there a palette pack of our paste colors. So what it is, is it is six of these size. So this is kind of like it's not really sample size, it's just a, a individual single use packet of our paste. So there's six different colors in that in that palette pack. If it's something that you don't have, you don't have any any paste of your own, you you don't want to end up buying six jars of it. You just want to try it out. You can get the palette pack and these will last you quite a long time. You will um You'll be able to do more than one project with these. But the colors in that pack are, you get black velvet, you get bright white, you get forest green, not pretty, you get shimmer crimson, so that's our sparkly red, you get shimmer gold, and shimmer silver. Okay, so those are the colors it comes with. So those are mainly the ones I'm going to use tonight. Um, but certainly choose any colors you, you are interested in. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to do the berries in red. I'm going to do these holly leaves in green. And I think I will do... I'm going to do the pine cones and pine cones in gold and I think I'm going to do these in green also. Okay. So again, I'm going to I'm going to end up doing it twice. So let me You know what? Let me start with my shimmers because they take a little bit longer to dry. I have a little more time. Thanks for asking about supplies, Cheryl. Hopefully you can navigate your way through there. Okay. The shimmers take a little bit longer to dry, so I get a little extra work time with those. And I like to kind of stir up my shimmers because the mica flakes kind of like to settle at the bottom. Okay, what did I say I was going to do? Pine cones. Pine cones and berries. in shimmer gold now 
to be honest, if you wanted to do this, but you, you kind of wanted to save some money, this looks adorable on it, but honestly, if you, it's going to get covered up. You're going to put stuff in your tiered tray. So if you had to leave something, I, I mean, I shouldn't even tell you that. Of course you want it all, but if you had to leave something behind, I'd probably leave this behind because it's not going to, it's not going to be seen a lot if you, if you put a lot of things on your tiered tray. Okay, so I've got my gold. Set that aside. Let me get my shimmer crimson, and I'm going to use my little multi tool with that. It's got like a little mini squeegee, and I'm going to do these berries in my shimmer crimson. And I'm going to see if I can beat the clock and get the green done. This is our forest green. If I can get the green done on these leaves before my shimmer dries. You don't want the paste to dry in the screen. If that happens when you go to pull up the screen, when you pull up the transfer, it's going to pull up the paste also. You want that paste to adhere below and you want to lift your transfer while that paste is still damp so that it stays on the surface below. Doop, 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 doop. So how is everyone doing? Did you have a good week? Are you glad it's Friday night? I keep looking at the what used to be where my monitor is when I have Bill. And it's not, it's blank. So I have to look up here. Does anybody have fun weekend plans? Do you have not fun weekend plans? We have, let's see, Sunday we have church potluck for Thanksgiving. So that will be fun. Okay, I'm going to peel this up. Oh, that's pretty. What do you think? Oops. Is that pretty? So then I'm going to put this on the other side. And for right now, I'm going to stick it in here. I've got it on a dish drying mat. Got those at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of water. I'm gonna clean it before I do the other side. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna put this out. And this one, I think I'm just going to do this in, oh, I guess there's some red on there. I think I'll do this in the same colors. One thing with a tiered tray is you want to be thinking ahead of time. You want a, a color scheme. You kind of you don't want to just. I mean, you can just cleaning the house for things. I need to do that too. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. You're tired tonight. You have plans to continue prepping. Same boring weekend as always. Oh, do something fun. And I know Cheryl, you're prepping for a whole bunch of people for Thanksgiving. Thanks, Cena. It is beautiful. I, I like it, too. Thanks, Cheryl. Okay, I need to clean my house, too. Okay. So I'm lining up where that little hole is. And we're going to do... Okay, so I'm going to do these uh, sprigs and leaves in green, the little dots in red, and this little whatever that is in gold. So let me start with my gold because it's a shimmer. So it will take a little longer to dry. Gives me a little more working time. 
Now, if I wasn't doing shimmer, if I was just doing a regular paste and I had been at this for uh, quite a bit of time, I would do what's called paste and peel. So I would, I would paste a little section before it dried. I would peel the transfer up just where I pasted to release that paste and then gently lay it back down. Don't push it down and then paste the next section. So that way I kind of break it into parts. But on this, I think, let's see what we can get done. Okay, so, you know what? I think I'm not gonna use this. I think I'm gonna go over to my even smaller, my detail tool. That's got a little teeny tiny, because these little dots are kind of small. Just going to take my time and work that, work that through, getting all of those little red berries. I just love Christmas colors. Uh, you know, I love, I have done some exploring. I have done some unusual, not unusual, some non-traditional Christmas colors. And I have really liked them, but I still have to say my favorite is the traditional. Red and green and gold and silver and anything sparkly. How about you? Okay, Cena's cooking, cleaning, washing, repeat. I think we used to have a transfer that said that. I think that was laundry. No, it was cook, clean, eat, repeat. Something like that. I don't know. It's in my kitchen. Traditional and lots of green. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, almost done with the berries. And I'm gonna wipe this off because I'm gonna use this also for this green. Let's see if I can get this done quickly. I can do that. Okay, when it gets when the when the area gets a little tight, I like using my smaller my smaller tools. Tomorrow will be three more cans of pumpkin bread, cook my sweet potatoes, make two peanut butter pies, bake two pumpkin pies and one pecan pie. Awesome. I have to, let's see, tomorrow overnight I'm going to cook my turkey tomorrow night. And, and then I have to make a sweet potato casserole. So tomorrow I'll be getting that ready. And that's all I really have to do. We don't have anybody coming over to the house for Thanksgiving. So we will probably just be doing something very casual. Just the two of us. Maybe we'll go out for Chinese food. Is that Thanksgiving or is that Christmas where people go out to Chinese food? I don't know. Yes, your house will smell wonderful. Okay, I think I've got it. Let me set that aside. Let me peel this off. Pretty. I got a little bit of bleeding there, but that's okay. I think. Half done. Half done. So let's put this 
here. Let's set that aside. Let's get this out because we need to clean these up so we can use them again. So to clean these, super easy. They're meant to be reusable. And the company guarantees that you can get um, 10 to 12 uses out of them. But I know if you clean them right away, clean them thoroughly, take good care of them, they'll last you a lot longer than that. You'll get 20, 25 uses out of them easily. Okay, so I sprayed it with water. I like to start with either a paper towel or a Swedish dishcloth. These are just those reusable dishcloths. And I like to start by getting that top layer of paste off. This doesn't completely clean it, but it gives me a head start. And then if this was a paper towel, I would toss it. These I can rinse out and use again. Now I'm going to switch to my board eraser, spray it again, and this is slightly damp. This is uh, very much like a, um, a magic eraser. Uh, these have no chemicals, so they're not going to they're not going to harm your transfer. But something about this material just pulls the paste off of that off of that transfer out of the screen and cleans these things up amazing you don't have to clean with this but i guarantee you will notice a difference cleaning with a magic eraser and if it gets a little gunky you just rinse it out and you also clean the back that's where we have some of that paste likes to seep through the screen and end up on the back. Move that little thread. And also that's where our fuzz, where we put our fuzz to uh, make our transfer not quite so sticky. So we wanna get that off. And reapply a new layer of fuzz if we need to. string okay so once my screens are cleaned out once there's no more paste in there we are good to go I just I'm going to dry this I like to let them air dry but I want to use it again so I'm just lightly taking a paper towel and drying it off Don't, don't apply too much pressure because this is paper and this is sticky. So you'll end up with pieces of paper fuzz on your sticky if you're not careful. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm missing some comments. Let me go up, okay. Okay, Sina loves Chinese. We do too. I just, we've just always had something to do on Thanksgiving. Turkey won't go in the, oh, you're doing a smoker until Wednesday night. And then the air fryer going to your nieces for Thanksgiving. And you're, ooh, I love corn casserole. Delicious. I'm not bragging, but she's a very good cook. And she says she always has an open door. So if anybody lives in Northern California, looking for a place to go, I'm just kind of drying these off. Hit up Cheryl. She'll invite you. Okay, so let's do the other sides. Let me make sure these are dry. Let me get my little dryer. lay this down. Let me get rid of that. Where is all of that? Okay. Open door. Yes. Because she's from the south. She's Cajun. They're known for their hospitality. Okay, so let's do this other side. 
and I'm going to line this up again and it should Oh, there we go. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So this should mirror, not mirror, but this should line right up with the other one. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see, like, there's a there's two red dots there, and then here's another berry that we're going to chalk on top of that. So it will look like a continuous pattern. It won't look like you cut it in half. Okay, what did I do? I did gold for the pine cones. And again, I'm starting with my shimmer because that's going to take a little bit longer to dry. So that will give me some work time. Scrape off the excess, put it away, switch over to my red for the berries. And now let's get our green going. I knew that just seeing your last name. <laughs> Lots of Cajuns on here. It's like, it's like homecoming. Cajun homecoming. It's so quiet here. Bill's not here. The dogs didn't come down with me because Bill's not here. So the dogs are upstairs. It's just me down here in the basement. Just me and you and the and the mice. I'm sure there's mice. Thankfully, we haven't seen much evidence of mice lately. Comes and goes. Okay. Cut that off. I am going to Clean off my fingers because I got I got paste all over me. Where's Pippa? Pippa's upstairs too. Pippa doesn't come down too often. Only when she wants to go out because there's a there's a dog door down here. So if the dogs need to get out or the cat needs to get out on their own, they they know to come down to the basement. And they can get out. So there we go. You can't even, you really can't even tell that it was two parts. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go back to spraying this. It's easier to clean your transfers when the paste is still damp. Not impossible, but easier. So I'm going to set that aside. Let's put this one out and fuzz it again. Now, every time you use it, it, it naturally loses a little bit of its stickiness. So you really need to fuzz it the first time and a little bit the second and third time. After that, you can probably get away with not fuzzing it at all. Okay. I think that's lined up pretty well. Okay, let's get back to gold. Okay. 
gold piece. Um, what did I do with this? Okay, my little detail tool for the red berries. Thank you, Patty. Okay, so first thing to, to plan on your tiered tray is your color scheme. Decide what colors, what colors you're gonna use. Doesn't mean you have to have just one or two. You can have a whole, you can decide to do all pastels or all jewel tones or just red and green, or you could do it all in silver and blue. Just whatever interests you. You could do it in pink and red. That seems to be very popular. And red and teal is popular. Rose gold is popular too. I like rose gold. Sorry if I'm boring you. It's a uh, trying to concentrate. Hard to talk when I'm trying to concentrate. I don't concentrate so well when I'm talking. Okay, so let's make, let's do this pine sprig. And let's do let's do this. Joanne's here. As much as I love being here, I simply can't keep my eyes open. I'm sorry. Good night, Cheryl. I hope you feel better. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. Don't overdo it. And Joanne is here to take your place. We are continuing to pray for you, Cheryl. Happy Friday to you too, Joanne. Is, is it is it wild and crazy on the farm on the farm at the ranch what are you what are you calling it you're not calling it a compound ranch I'm sure there's always something going on how's Mike <laughs> I look so cute actually I don't I just kind of Plopped my hair back. My bangs are all catawampus. Okay, so I got that done. I got paint all over my hands. I'm gonna peel that off. There we go, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so Joanne, we are making another tiered tray. This one is a Christmas-themed tiered tray. And I decided I didn't want to put these designs on the tiered tray permanently. I wanted to make them temporary. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, since I started so late, I think I'm just gonna do the tiered tray tonight and then we'll do some of the other pieces tomorrow and the next day. What did I do with them? Okay, so let me make sure these are dry. And do I have... Okay, so what I did, because I didn't want to chalk on these permanently, 
I used my watercolor paper and chopped it on there. And these, I cut these to fit right inside there. Okay, now with watercolor paper, it gets a little bendy and foldy. I can, I could put this underneath something flat overnight and it would flatten out. Or I can just take, I'm just gonna take some painter's tape and you know how you flip it over on itself? So you have sticky top and bottom. I'm just gonna put some of that here and there. And then this will stick down until I'm ready to take it off. You like those, yes. Do you have any tiered trays in your house, Joanne? Probably don't. You probably have limited decorations because you're temporary. Okay, so here we go. I've got it. You can't even tell that that is paper. It looks like I chalked it right on the surface. Okay. Same thing with this. I'm just going to tape it down. You could use double stick tape. I just don't have any close by. And it goes in the center. And again, if you, I cut these out with my Cricut. So if you're interested in that, the design space pattern, I can share that with you. Um, you'll just, you just need to ask me in the comments that you want the Cricut link. Um, Cause I don't have that in my automatic link. You know what, this is kind of popping up. I'm gonna tape it down a little bit more, closer to the edges maybe. Once you get things on it, it'll lay down flat. Come on. Now I can't get it up. Sorry. I need something smaller. Let me dig that out with. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pin that down. Okay, so let's put this together. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to put my stuff away first. Okay. Now, one other thing you could do, just a thought, if you could paint these, you could give these different colors, but if you didn't want to do that, what I'm going to do is I have some ribbon. This is glittery ribbon that I got at, I believe this is Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to, it's a little tiny bit thinner than that. I'm just gonna glue a strip of ribbon around here. It's gonna look so fancy. Then we'll assemble it. Okay, so let me get started here. So I'm gonna put red on the bottom. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue so that I can peel that away when I don't want it to be, when I don't want it to be red anymore. But I can use the red for Valentine's Day. I can swap out the green for maybe pink or more red. So I'm just putting a couple of dots here and there all the way around. Okay, yes, thank you, yummy. Ooh, shortbread cookies with raspberry jelly in the center. Hannah came in with big cookies. Ooh, are they like, uh, did, did she make them? Or are they like crumble cookies? Have you ever had, have you guys had crumble cookies? They're from a store. If you don't know what crumble cookies are, it's a, it's a store that sells just cookies. 
and every day I believe they have six varieties and it's they change it up all the time but each day you can get those why am I shaking you can get any of those six varieties they're they're expensive but they're really good and they're kind of a novelty and if you don't get them all the time decor of the 1950s okay so here's here is my my green edged bottom and then here is I'm sorry that's my red edged bottom now this is five eighths of an inch wide I believe this is actually three quarters of an inch so five eighths works perfect uh, three quarters would work perfectly if you wanted a little overhang you could even do one inch So again, I'm not I'm not gluing everywhere. This isn't going to get a lot of wear and tear. So I've just got like three or four dots to tack it in place. And trim that off. You could use fancy ribbon. You could use. I I thought I had some that looked like um, candy cane peppermint stripe. Of course, I couldn't find it. But then I found this. And sparkly made me happy. So there we go. Okay. So let's put this together. I'm going to cut that. I'm fighting with it. So you get the spacer in between. And you get the... Um, <clears throat> The, the thing down here, it comes with instructions. I just want to know. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. It doesn't say where to put these little threads. And oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. I don't know. It's got these two little plastic spacer, I don't know, I forget what they're called. Bill would know. So I'm just going to put that on top there, and I'm going to screw that on there. See, I'm not even using any tools. You might want to use a wrench to kind of make sure that's really tight. And then this goes in here and there we go so here is our fancy Christmas tiered tray what do you think pretty 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 and we're going to be working on the other pieces on it in the next day or two so we've got some some different shapes and different designs and we are going to create some some things to put on here and then i will show you how i'm going to assemble it all together so here's our tiered tray I'm trying to get it so that you can you can see it i'm going to pose oh i see all those hearts thank you So this is part one. Thank you. So pretty. Thanks, Jesse. Yes, it is a perfect size. You can put lots of lots of cute things on it, which we are going to do. Okay, those are my oh, back to the 1950s. Okay. Thanks for sticking with me. If you are interested in supplies, comment supplies. Oh, I can't I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you. Not only is this the end of week three for our black friday sales black friday month of sales um, we've got a bunch of transfers on sale from 30 to 50 percent off 
Club members get an additional 10% off. What, I, what also is happening is this kind of took us by surprise. We usually don't do new releases until the end of January, but on Monday morning, eight o'clock Pacific time, they are releasing a set of brand new transfers. It's called the Winter 2022 Collection, and it's a lot of Valentine's Day, uh, quite a bit of everyday type stuff, and some St. Patrick's Day. So I, for, I forget how many. There's like 18, 18 brand new transfers, seven that they are bringing back from previous years. There's um, a couple new surfaces. Um, I tell you, there's a Valentine's tiered tray and there's a couple new paste packets and a brand new chalk made kit. So if you're interested in that, type winter in the comments and you'll get that same link. Click on product info and then there it'll take you to a button where you can push for um, the winter 2022 collection. And I'm also having a pre-sale so you can get a little bit off um, if you shop my pre-sale for those items that are in that new collection. So type winter and, or type sale, either one of those, and follow the links, follow the product links to get to um, either the lookbook. You can take a look at the lookbook. It's not active, so you can't click on it and order from it until Monday morning. But you can take a look at, at some finished pieces and get some inspiration. And then you can go to my link for my pre-sale and you can get your, get your order in, get yourself a discount. And I think that's about it. I've kept you long enough. Thanks for staying up late with me tonight. And we will see you. Have a great weekend. We will see you in the next day or two. Bye-bye, everybody.